What's going on guys? Real quick before we get this video started, sorry it's a little echoey in here, just want to let you guys know we did drop some new Wrenchworks gear. It is online right now, it is live, want to show you guys it real quick, finally got everything in. Starting off, got a, it's kind of a shirt flannel, it's not really a jacket, not super thick, but we did leather patches on a lot of different stuff, so leather patch, Wrenchworks, flannel, uh, actually five new hats. One of them is not here, but it is gonna be here later today. Uh, kind of got this green black snap, got the camo black, and then we got a gray. This is actually, these are my favorite, uh, these mesh uh, flex fit back hats, uh, not these snaps, but we got five different hats, all Wrenchworks leather patch, and also two beanies, the uh, conventional style, and then this style is a fold over, a little bit different of a color here. But all of that stuff is online. Oh, and the last hat is a white and tan. The white one is actually, I've never, I don't think I've ever worn a white hat, but I love the way they look. So five new hats, a flannel, and two beanies with the patch stuff. Very, very, very limited quantities. We didn't really know if you guys were gonna love the leather patch stuff or not, so go ahead, scoop all that stuff up while you guys still can, and that is gonna do it. So that is it for the merch plug. Let's head to the shop and get some work done. Monday after work, I'm gonna throw this into this video as well. What we're working on now is this bar that goes up to here, kind of like the, uh, actually, I'm sorry, this one, this one, we already did that one. What we're trying to do is match the angle of the main hoop up here on this bar that goes up around, basically starting to work on the funny car hoop that goes around the driver's head. So we're trying to match this angle up here. So that's what uh, that's we're kind of working on now, getting getting the hang of the bender. <laughs> Sweet gloves, James Stewart. <laughs> Michael, that's that's a nice pipe you got there. It's a pipe, right? Right. That's right. Forgot. <laughs> so used to handling all the. Uh Alrighty, 
guys, it is Sunday evening, kind of starting at the end here again. Uh, but from Friday at 6 o'clock, all through the night, uh, Saturday all through the day, and then Sunday all day today, Michael and I, Silent Mike and I, have been working on the new drag truck, getting the cage, um, I would say, I don't know, maybe about... 65% done. Uh, we still have about, I believe, like 23 bars to still put in this thing, but I think we started around 45 or 50. So uh, we're making good headway. Let me show you guys the progress. Not a whole lot of B-roll footage in this because, I mean, it's the same thing. Going to cut the bar, fit the bar, grind the bar, weld the bar. There's just a lot of bars. So uh, I actually have been doing... All of the fitting, all of the cutting, Michael has just been really doing uh, the welding, which uh, a lot of the bars that we're doing are just straight bars. We still haven't tackled the bender, but uh, it is, and I'm kind of, if you guys can tell, I'm still kind of getting over my little <clears throat> cold nonsense. But anyway, uh, I just want to update you guys. Uh, so it's, it's very... Uh, you know, it, it's tough learning, um, and I think that's what a lot, of, a lot of times, a lot of people are scared to try something new. It is time consuming to learn something, be good at it, um, and you know, just fitting the bars is, it's, it's, it's a pain. Like, it's, it's constant back and forth. Um, Everyone who does that for a living, man, hats off to you guys, but uh, we're learning. I'm enjoying it. It's kind of, I don't know what the word I am looking for is doing it this time around, doing uh, the 25-6 cage, pretty much doing it ourselves. Uh, the silver truck was kind of done uh, by somebody else, but we're doing it all ourselves um, and making it look dang good. Michael is teaching us the ropes, and uh, man, basically what we've been working on is change the outriggers. As you can see, they're more of like a square style now. They come out from the frame square, which is going to help us with uh, the floor. We're not putting the factory floor back in, obviously. We're going to make our own firewall and our own floor. You guys can kind of see we got a seat kind of mocked up in here for me to sit in. And again, we're making it really the best that we can with the existing 850 cert cage. Really, the only things that have been left from this cage is the uh, door bars, uh, the A-pillar bars, uh, and the, I just say that, A-pillar, uh, and then the, uh, the main hoop, and then everything from the main hoop back, all of the X's and everything. You guys, you can see most of the work that we've been doing is this back X. There is a ton of bars in there. And then again, along with all of the floor stuff here as well. So that is the update. We are moving along. I believe we are, I would say, see, mm, mm, one cut, not even cutting it out. Sorry. Uh, so I think we're, I think we're down to two ish months still. Uh, left maybe a little bit more maybe like nine weeks. I don't think it's quite ten weeks anymore But uh, we're hoping within this coming week to kind of knock out the rest of the cage work put the cab back on Remount all of that stuff mount the fiberglass up um, But yeah, we're we're moving along and uh, I know a lot of you guys a lot of you guys are killing me about the rest of the projects, um, and I know, trust me, I get it. We, the shop is done and I haven't even moved into the new shop, but uh, this is kind of just taking priority in the very short meantime to try and get this thing done. Um, you know, for the deadline, racing, racing's just important to me, guys. Like, that's, I really, really love racing. Uh, the ODSS season is really important to me this year, and uh, we are just focusing a lot on trying to uh, make that happen. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a short deadline. Uh, plans kind of changed with everything. I still have yet to kind of, we ran into some engine stuff. Um, I'll fill you guys in on that later. Uh, so we're trying to, this bar's about ready to fall. We're, uh, we're trying to work through that. Um, as soon as we have some uh, information on the uh, engine side of things, I'll let you guys know on that. But uh, man, guys, check out the beard. Man, I can't really ever really grow a beard. It just gets kind of thin up in here, but I feel like this time around, maybe it's filling out a little bit. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. But uh, anyway, I think that's it. Oh, uh, over here, I forgot. Did forget to mention, one day this week at work, our good friends at IFG Innovative Fastener Group 
sent us out another set, uh, actually two sets of studs. Uh, one is a 12 valve set, and then this one is a common rail set here. Um, so we got some projects coming up that we are going to integrate uh, their new and improved studs. Uh, again, we're gonna be using them. I have, I have something big coming for the uh, first gen, so we're gonna have to pull the existing cylinder head that's off of it off. I said off of it off, but uh, that's a new set of studs for the 12 valve. And then we have a new set of studs here for one of the many common rail trucks. So uh, stay tuned for that, but we're gonna be utilizing them, giving them a test, putting them through their paces, but huge shout out to those guys. Uh, if you guys need this stuff, if you guys need stuff, I think, I think a lot of you guys forget that like now at work through King Speed, I sell parts. So if you guys need anything, if you need any of those studs, if you need anything from Hamilton, if you need anything, I mean, we're pretty much a dealer for anyone and everything. So if you need anything, hit me up. Be more than happy to take care of you guys. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I got a couple of little things I might throw in here at the end, but just wanted to give you guys kind of an update on, on the cage work, on the drag truck. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm probably forgetting stuff. We put in like over 30 hours this week on this thing and it is time to go home Sunday. What time is it now? I think it's already nine o'clock here. We're supposed to try and yeah, nine o'clock. We're going to try and call it early, but, uh, Anyway, guys, if I don't have anything else for you, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, we're going to get this truck knocked out, and then uh, upcoming throughout the week, uh, we'll get moved into the shop and uh, have other updates for you guys and uh, try and knock out some work on some of the other many projects that we have going on. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.